Hi, I'm Karma. Welcome to my channel, where Karma is your friend. Today we're going to be opening one of my favorite crystal boxes so far. Um, I have received some comments on other and openings where it said that it's not customized and so on and so forth. So time will tell and I'll keep you posted as I watch other box on openings to kind of keep up and see whether they seem similar or whether or not they do seem customized. At the beginning of the month, on the 1st through the 10th, you receive an email. There's checklists there. You let them know what you want to work on for the month. And then supposedly your box is customized to the things you've chosen. Uh, so far, it seems to be the case. The things I chose, the stones did go along with it. Uh, we'll see how it goes this time. So the Crystal Council box, hashtag the council has chosen, um, is a monthly subscription box, and there are three levels to the box that you can get. You can get an $11 month of box that has one crystal, and that's called the Seeker. You can get a $25 a month box that's called the Apprentice, and that one is customizable, and it includes two large crystals, two tumbled crystals, and meditation tools and trinkets, and that's called the Apprentice box. And the one that I have here that we're going to be opening is a $50 a month box and it's called the Master Box and it includes five large crystals, two medium or tumbled crystals, meditation tools and trinkets, and the personalized scroll. And it is customized, supposedly. Um, I feel like it has been for me so far, so we'll keep looking at it. But it's $50 a month. And um, so far, I really feel like it's been worth the cost. When you look at the size and stuff of the stones, I feel like it's been great. So let's look at this month and let's see how it goes. So here's what the box looks like when you get it. And then when you open it, that's what it looks like. Oops. <laughs> see if I can't hold those things. That's what it looks like inside. You do get a letter and it's sealed. And you open it up. It's kind of nice. It's pretty long. I'm going to turn it sideways so I can, yeah, I can't really fit it in the camera. <laughs> but anyway, you can kind of see there. And it says, Hi, Karma of Omanent. As human beings, we are naturally opposed to change. When we are finally adjusting to routine of seasons and mentalities, we often are met with yet another transition. This is a reminder that our world is constantly evolving and that we shouldn't invest all of our energy into being comfortable. Our souls were designed to grow. And then it goes on from there. I'm not going to read all of it you. And then it says, sending love and light to you. And then it has a list of all the things that you get in the box with the descriptions. And it says, we highly recommend that you plan at least one activity or experience before the summer is over. This needs to be something to make you feel alive. This can be as simple as a hobby that you're interested in or something drastic like jumping out of a plane. So, nice. So, let's change the camera angle so that we can see the things in the box up close and personal. So, let's see what we have first in the box. First, we have this little guinea fowl feather. And this is going to be used for when you're burning your Palo Santo um, or your white sage to clear your space. You can use it to fan the smoke onto yourself and onto any of the items that you're using for your ceremony. And so that's what this can be used for. It's pretty. Um, I'll probably give it to my daughter for her kit, for her field kit. Um, I don't think I'll use it. I have several items already, but that is a really pretty feather. I like it. Feathers are nice. I love finding feathers. And next, we have the little sticker. I really like this one. It's really pretty. I know I'm going to put it in my Lunarly journal and use it there because that is really a pretty sticker. It really gives me some good thoughts. Then we have the description here for the guinea fowl feather and for the intention candle. And on the back is the little newsletter from them that explains what's going on. And next we have the little candle. It's 100% soy wax with lemongrass essential oil and lavender and lemon peel. 
when we open it up. Oh, pretty. So it's got a gem in it as well as herb, the herbs in there on top. Makes it really pretty. It's not filled to the top, but it's filled adequately enough to where you get, you know, oh, oh it smells really good. You can smell that lemongrass on there. I'm going to put that in my field kit to use when I'm out and about. That's beautiful. And so next we have in this little bag a little tumbled piece of tiger's eye. It's really got beautiful coloring on it though. Look at all those. So a tiger's eye says we've given you tiger's eye which brings forth with it the raw confidence and will. This stone gives you the eye of the tiger. It strengthens your drive and simply pushes you into action to get things done. We all know that the path to good fortune is hard work and un and an unbound will. Carrying this stone will give you the focus to put your dreams into the driver's seat of your life. So I'm excited to see this one. It's a labradorite. So cool. I can't wait to see it. I hope it's really colorful because some of them are and some of them aren't. Now when you first look, it doesn't look that colorful, but when I get it in the light, you can really start to see. So Labradorite is a stone of magic and protection, allowing one to access the deep depths where an abundance of knowledge can be discovered. Labradorite invites us to be more adventurous and outgoing when we normally wouldn't. It allows our desires and energies to roam freely while offering a protective bubble that will aid in our most purest transformation. That is so pretty. Look at all those colors. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I'm in love with that stone. <laughs> I can't wait to work with it and do meditation. So let's see what we have next. Looks like we have a malachite. Let's see. What does it look like? Well, let me read. Malachite's an important mineral for protecting against negative energy and vibrations within your environment. It helps keep our mind focused on the task at hand and in control over our emotional imbalances. Oh, wow. Look how pretty. I've never had a raw malachite. Now, you do need to know that with raw malachite, um, it can be, the powder can be toxic. So you do want to wash your hands after you handle raw malachite. The more control we have over our emotions and attitude, the better person we are to be able to evolve into. Malachite is a favorite mineral of ours for anyone who is looking to grow, transform, to grow, transform their lives, or simply work on themselves. That's beautiful, and I don't have any raw malachite at all. I have next a piece of pyrite. I have other pyrite, but it's not very pretty. Hopefully, this one's a pretty one. Pyrite boosts one's mental clarity and focuses it on all matters relating to assertive action. It awakens that inner warrior that will pursue any opportunity within your sights. This stone attracts abundance and power while helping to guide you in the direction of great prosperity. We recommend carrying this stone in your pocket daily. Let's see, what does it look like? Oh, wow. Oh, that's a gorgeous piece. That's beautiful. The ones I have are more like a rock and kind of look almost like fake pyrite. They're not nearly as beautiful as this piece. That's a beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to work with that. That's beautiful. What do we have next? Next we have Kambaba Jasper. And it's raw. Kambaba Jasper is an extremely old stone dating back to three mil billion, three billion years ago. This crystal helps one achieve emotional balance throughout the day and helps keep one cool during times, oh, of distress. Oh, look how pretty that is. I've never had one like this. Look at all those markings. Kambaba Jasper's powers are strong enough to finally put you back in the driver's seat of your life. Simple things such as socializing, working with colleagues, and even forming long-lasting relationships, sexual and non-sexual, will feel natural and easier than ever before. This special combination of minerals helps one feel comfortable with themselves and their surroundings. That is a beautiful piece. So let's see. Next we have honey calcite. It's a big bag. 
never heard of honey calcite. Have you guys ever heard of honey calcite? It says this mineral resonates with the root solar and third eye chakras, creating a powerful trifecta of personal will and creation. The golden warmth of this crystal is felt upon first touch, providing the user with a link to Mother Earth's energies. This strong connection is great for accomplishing high effort tasks and projects. When our personal will is rooted, we are inclined to push ourselves to the finish line. The hardest part is doing something is getting started. Oh, wow. And honey calcite encourages us to get up and get going. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. I've never seen anything like this before. Have you guys ever seen this? It's really light. Um, it's got really light energy to it. Like it seems to pick you up, which I guess is the encourage and get up and get going. But I've never seen anything like this. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever seen a, a honey calcite? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, that's beautiful. I can't wait to actually work with that stone. That's going to be gorgeous to work with. Wow, look at the box this month. I am always love their boxes. So let's get back to the other view. So what did you think of the Crystal Council box this month? I thought it was amazing. I'm really loving this box. I'm really enjoying it. And the stones, I don't know how to explain it to you if you don't experience this, but I can go to some some shops and pick up crystals and they just even if I cleanse them and stuff they just they don't really resonate with me they might resonate with someone else but they don't resonate with me and I can honestly say that the crystals that I've gotten in this box really are strong resonators um, you cleanse them and they're pure and powerful and you can really feel the energy coming from them because of the quality of the stones that are there so I'm really happy with this box. I hope you had a great time with me. Please join me soon. If you've got a minute, check out our Crystal Grid videos. We're building an awesome community with uh, lots of people who are enjoying getting together and doing these Crystal Grids with me and enjoying all the blessings that come from them. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you back soon. And remember, karma's your friend.